Alright, what's up guys? It's MacTube again, and before I do uh, another Blu-ray update, which will be my next video, I wanted to go ahead and um, do another video doing an unboxing of one of my new Blu-rays I got. I got this last week. Um, it's kind of, kind of a big set. Um, I know unboxing it and showing what's inside might take a while, so instead of spending all that time doing that on an update I decided to give it its own video and it deserves its own video it's pretty pretty good set it's the Goonies 25th anniversary collector's edition um, got this like a week and a half ago um, haven't opened it it's still sealed still um, brand new in the wrapper I was, I was waiting to get this for a while um, it finally went down on price on Amazon it's like 19 right now it, it was like 30 plus for the longest um, I've actually never watched this whole movie, um, but I've uh, I've been intrigued by it for a while because people say it's their childhood favorite. I've never really been into it. I think I remember watching it um, a f like a few minutes of it, like a, a few a couple of years ago um, in the '90s or something, and I I didn't actually like it. I didn't like it at that point, which I just I just kind of disappointed. Um, I don't know. I, I guess. I, I like some other kid movies from the 80s, but this one wasn't uh, was never one I was really crazy about. But I'm willing to give it another shot. And, um, yeah, it's a really, really big set, so why not, man? Even if I don't like it, just for the name of it, it's worth having. Yeah, this is a pretty big set. I kind of, I don't know, I kind of like to keep um, good sets sealed but open uh, on one end of the case so I could unwrap it and wrap it each time I want to use it but I don't know how I'm going to do it with this one since uh, this is sealed pretty tight but I'll figure it out before I do that though I'll just show you what this looks like there's been a bunch of videos on this already but whatever I think you're what's one more going to hurt um, this part right here is really um, reflective and shiny you can actually see the reflection in the uh, camera and me back there um, cool image I guess it's about these kids who in search of this treasure so it's a really good family kids movie um, a lot of cult status behind this movie so I'm, I'm, I'm willing to I, I think I'm gonna like it I don't know I didn't like it as a kid but again I didn't see the whole thing so I don't know I'm hopeful I'll take you guys word for it so right now I'm gonna cut it I don't know how I'm gonna do this I'm gonna cut this off and when I uh, cut it I'll be right back so give me a second alright so I figured it out what I did is I cut the bottom corners off so I can just fold it on the bottom like that. So let's try to pull it out from the bottom while still keeping the plastic on. There you go. That way I can put it back in there after I'm done. So here it is right here. Man, this thing is big, man. I've seen a bunch of videos on this and it doesn't do it justice. This thing is heavy and it's huge. Um, anyone who hasn't got this yet, man, it's, it's cool looking though. Um, Real quick on the cover, it's got this cool little embossed uh, anniversary coin type image here. It's really shiny, really um, really cool. It says 20th anniversary with a skeleton and a Goonies uh, headband on it. Uh, here are the kids on the rock pointing at the ocean. And it comes with this banner. A couple people like to get rid of this. I'm keeping it. Um, I'll take that off. This is what the back looks like. This kind of reminds me of a Japanese uh, Japanese movie for some reason. I don't know why. But, yep, embossed. Thick as hell. Yeah. That's the bottom. Really cool image. Back. Top has nothing on the corners, but... Yep, pretty cool. This was... I don't know if this was on the back or not, but, yeah, this is a coupon or something. Oh, that looks nice. Popcorn Factory. I guess it's a ten dollar off some popcorn. That's cool. Um, here's Goonies t-shirts and stuff on the website I guess. I'm sure a lot of Goonies fans have got some of that stuff so it comes with that. If you guys want to go to that site you can go right ahead. And this is what the back looks like. Um, this is the uh, cover of the banner really cool I don't know I don't know if this is a movie that you would have had to grown up with to like or not but I'm gonna give it a shot it, it's, it should be interesting um, this is what it it's says on the back the treasure the treasure ship has come 
this is a bunch of stuff that that it comes with. It comes with a board game. It comes with this um, Empire magazine article about the movie and the Blu-ray. Sorry, it's kind of blurry. And this is the 64-page uh, magazine. So yeah, it is stacked with stuff. This is some images from the movie itself. Um, it's kind of hard to see, but yep. I know about the Jiggling Kids dance. I've seen that parodied everywhere. So, looking forward to seeing that in action. Let's open this up. Wow. Really, really interesting. This is a, looks like a pirate's map. This thing over here is a... I don't know if that's a, a skeleton sword handle or what it is. Again, I haven't seen it. I'll probably do a review of this when I do see it. But yeah, this looks like a cool treasure map. Um, I don't know the significance of it. I guess this is a treasure map that the kids um, use to hunt down the treasure. And it's kind of hard to read, but it looks like just directions and different names of different places. So really cool artwork. I like that. Here's what it looks like on the inside. Nice little brown vibe to this. And it comes with this stuff to keep it inside. So we're just going to slide it out. Pretty easy to slide out though. This is the Blu-ray, still sealed. Um, kind of wish they did something better with the Blu-ray since it's, it's a special edition. Like at least put a slip case on it. But this is the standard Blu-ray that you can get anywhere, so that's pretty cool. I like seeing movies that are considered classics for the first time in HD because I, I really feel like I get a good experience the first time. So this is uh, this is what the Blu-ray looks like. Comes with a bunch of special features on it. 25th year documentaries and stuff. I'm not going to un unwrap that, but that's the Blu-ray. Next comes with this Empire 20 Spectacular 20th Anniversary Guest guest Edited by Spielberg. So uh, Richard Donner um, directed it, Spielberg presented it, so I guess he produced it. Here's a look at, I guess, the cast grown up. So I guess this is a retrospective look back. I guess they talk about it a little bit. Looks cool. Um, I don't know if I want to read or look at too much of this stuff before I watch the movie. I'm sure it's not going to give too much away, but whatever. I guess that's a picture of the cast uh, when they were young. And this is when they're grown up. So this should be interesting. I'll take a look at this after I watch it. Um, not too many pages, pretty thin, but uh, yeah, that's the booklet. Next comes with, and don't think I'm not enthusiastic, I am, I, I'm really excited to watch this because it's been hyped up for me for so many years and um, a really cool edition. This is the Goonies, all about the Goonies Spielberg Collector's Edition. It comes with, I guess, photos and little trivia info and stuff on it, so yeah, if you love this movie, I mean, if you don't have it already, you got to get this because it's filled with stuff. I guess this is, again, pictures of them in the 80s. And I guess it talks about how they got the role, what it was like making it, and the cult status and all this stuff. So it has really, really cool pictures. <laughs> it's that fat kid again. He's everywhere. <laughs> I wonder if uh, this kid or this guy gets, walk, gets uh, stopped on the street and asked to do that dance. That would suck. Or would it be awesome? I don't know. A lot of other cool pictures here. I don't want to get into it. This this page is... This book is filled. Like I said, it's 64 pages. So, yeah, really cool stuff. I'll run through them real quick. A lot of good trivia. A lot of good um, background info. This is just a Goonies fan's dream, man. It's full of stuff. This is a great box set. Even I can appreciate this. All the work put into this, man. So, yeah, that's... I don't want to spoil everything because I don't want to spoil any scenes for myself. So, but yeah, it comes with a bunch of stuff. Um, I haven't read it, obviously. It's the first time seeing it, but yeah, full of Goonies goodness. And last but not least, oh wait, damn, there's more. Art cards or storyboards. Comes in an envelope. It's a pretty thick envelope, bigger than my hand. And uh, pretty smooth, too. I like the, like the material. There's also artwork on it. Yeah, this movie's looking cooler and cooler, I must, I gotta admit. The more I look at this stuff. Let's pull it out, though. Yep, deleted scenes. Again, I don't want to look at this stuff too much, but this is deleted scenes, so it's not going to be in the movie. 
It looks like there's a gorilla. Fugitive gor gorilla on the loose. Or something. It, t it talks about the deleted scene, what went on in it, and what was going to happen, why it wasn't put in the movie, stuff like that. I'm not going to read that right now, but it's there. I'm sure the Hardcore Goonies fans know, know about these already, but here you go. Here's another one. Two is the third one. Mikey at the wheel. <laughs> Again, info and pictures. Third one, Squid Attack. Damn. I kind of wish they added this stuff in the movie now. Um, Angel of Death. Interesting. I don't know how well you can see that. It looks like the Grim Reaper there. Skull. Grim Reaper again. And Splat. This one actually has color. This Oh, it doesn't have a title. This one is just... Just uh, cool pictures. This looks really good in HD. You can't make out from this picture, but just scenes from the movie. And uh, yeah, it looks really cool. More storyboard stuff. Pirate. I mean, pirate skeleton. I guess they find some skeletons on their trip and their adventure. And, oh, that is cool. That is a cool looking image right there. If you want to read that. Cool, cool. I like this. I'm interested now. I guess this is them finding a ship. Again, I don't know if these are scenes from the movie or deleted scenes, uh, but I, I, I almost don't even want to look at these right now. But here you go. And there's two more. This is one. Looks like one guy's falling down something. She's falling down something. Just cool images, though. I must admit, they look cool. Um, storyboards. I guess these are storyboards of the actual scene, so. They both look all cool. And here's the last one. Sorry, the camera's a little itch iffy. So, yeah, that's the, the, all the storyboard cards that come with it. I'm going to keep those in good shape as well. And finally, the big ass board game. Which. I can't confirm if I'm going to play or not, but it's cool to have. Uh, there's nothing else in here except this thing to hold them in. I'm not going to have fun putting this together. <laughs> but yeah, this is uh, this is what gave the box set its weight. It's a pretty thick board game. It's not wood. It's obviously cardboard. Really cool image though. Um, looks really good. The board game. I don't know if this board game is actually played in the, um, the movie itself. But, um, here it is. I'll pull it out. The Goonies board game. And, um, brand new sealed. I am not going to open this. Um, because I don't, um, I don't think I'm going to see myself playing it. And I don't want to, um, I don't know. Yeah, sorry if you guys want to see what's in here, but, uh. I, I'm not going to open it yet because, um, you know, I, I haven't seen it yet, and um, I want when I do a review of this, I'll open this. So I want to keep this uh, sealed for the time being, but yeah, that's what it looks like. There's other videos if you want to see it, I'm sure. <laughs> Such a tease. Um, but yeah, there's cool images on it. You can't really make it out too well, but it looks like the map, the same thing that's on the, um, the cover here. But yeah, really cool images. So overall, a real cool set, man. Um, full of stuff so I'm very very happy and the the set itself does close velcro it doesn't doesn't open uh, oh wait it, I'm wrong it doesn't close by itself but that's alright because I have the plastic seals still on it so this will go right over it once I put it all in so that was the Goonies box set went on kinda long but a worthy worthy name for a box set worthy box set for a great movie at least I hope it's great yeah, so let me guys know what you think. Um, I am looking forward to this. I'll probably take a look at it later this week, see how I like it. But based on all the stuff it came with, I think I'm going to love it. I'm hopeful. So that was it. Uh, check out my nooks, my next video, which will be my Blu-ray update. I've got a ton of stuff like this in there, and it uh, should be pretty cool. So thanks for watching, man. I'll be back.